Hello guys, unique aquariums. So I decided to take in the 65 gallon. What's up buddy? This guy I've had since like a good while. So I took the red tail shark, the chain pygmy loach. Um, these are the guppies that started off from way back when my quote-unquote auntie because I don't consider that person an aunt that's just my dad's sister she got fishes for her son and oh I'm there taking care of everything for her I'm the reason why they're even continued so I have a whole bunch of fucking guppies because I made it one of the guppies I bought from my girl and then one of the guppies from my quote unquote, you know, auntie. And they both made a whole bunch of babies. As you guys can see, that's the zebra loach. And then back there is the opaline goliani. I had to take the opaline for sure. Well, the loaches were fine because they had so much hiding spaces in the 180. But the blue Goriami, he's literally missing a fin because the you know the cichlids are very aggressive. And then the the red tail shark, he um he just looks a little tore up as you guys can see from the back. And these guys, on the on the technical standpoint or whatever you want to call it. They're going extinct in the wild. So I don't want to be another contribution. I want to get this guy to his full capacity, full size. So this is what I have so far. I have to go back and get both of my Siamese algeters. I think one of them is a Siamese algeter and the other one's a flying fox. Cause he obviously they look similar, but they're not a hundred percent similar. As you guys can see, I brought two pieces of driftwood. These were my favorites. This long elongated one, it had a Java fern attached to it but the java fern uh, came off. I still have it, so I'm gonna reattach it to something. These are like the nice fancy rocks that you buy at the shops. I have another one in the bucket I'm gonna put in, and um, I'm gonna try to get in a few rocks that I collected from the river way back with my uncle. Um, I'm gonna try to get like a little cave for the red tail. And cause I know he doesn't get along with the Siamese, but I need them to kind of get along a little bit. I mean, they're both um, body, bottom feeding fish, so the mouth will not hurt. But it's good to have, you know, the space so they don't get so stressed out by him trying to be all bad. You know, it sucks that because the fucking um, 180 gallon has all the space where they can swim back and forth, but you can't. Uh, how's that here anytime soon not here we would have to move to a different location so for now this is just a 65 uh, I cut the tubing and I have it on a, a dresser not custom made for the aquarium because I bought a bundle so I'm probably gonna have to get rid of the, the stand um so I have the filtration system running a little differently I hate the fact that this one's so fucking long I wish it could be shorter but I guess that's how it is, but it is a pretty strong filtration system. I don't remember necessarily if it was for 2,000 gallons, but it's it's pretty good. As you guys can see, these are uh, the plants that we have running here. This is, I, I'm assuming it's a Ludwigia. I'm not sure, so I don't don't quote me on that. These are the Cryptotorn. It's another segment right there. This is the Amazon sword. This is the Java Moss, Anna, Chris, Anna, Cherries, whatever you want to pronounce it. I keep forgetting the damn name, but this is the one that they say is the easiest to grow. And in the beginning, I hadn't had that much luck, but now I do. Because in my 10 gallon, it's rampant everywhere. So I'm just taking in pieces from here and there to put in this aquarium. Obviously, the Monte Carlo. I put in a few pieces at the bottom so they can spread across. And uh, obviously this red substrate, I fucking love this red substrate. It looks so nice, it complements the aquarium so well. So, 
that's it for now, guys. But I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on what's happening. The fucking aquarium. Let me put the light on for you. It's so heavy, we had to drag it across the street. See, it's all torn from the bottom. We had to drag it across the street since there's no driveway. So we had to drag it because uh, parking is very hard to get over here. And tell me what you guys think. Tell me what you guys would want me to do with this aquarium. Let's get the conversation going. All right, take care. Peace.